And now it's time for Corner Table, our theater review segment. It features legendary critic John Simon and newcomer Justin Brown. Simon wrote for New York Magazine for more than 35 years and has also been featured in the New York Times and the Washington Post, amongst other places. Justin is an actor and director who's just getting started in the whole critic game. Tonight they review Sunset Boulevard, starring Glenn Close. Hey, John. Hi. Hi. So tonight we're talking about... Sunset Boulevard with Glenn Close, which is her return to this role after 15 years about? More than that. More than that, 20 uh, now 20, almost? Yeah, um, this is Andrew Lloyd Webber's score. Christopher Hampton, Don Black wrote the book. And it also stars uh, Michael Xavier, who is new. He's British. He's British, yeah. Uh, what are your initial thoughts? Well, my initial thoughts are that it's a second-rate musical, but there are certain things about it that are interesting enough mm. to justify attention. Like what? Well, the fact that in the original Broadway production, which the Times thought was over-designed, it is precisely the over-design that was good. It was mm. John Napier's set, which had two levels. It could switch up and down. Um, and it was luxury, which is what we really want there. And then the opposite thing, which is the studio, which has no luxury whatsoever, uh, although it can fake it. But that's the problem. If you have something that began as a semi-stage show, and then you transfer it to a stage where it has to be a big stage show, it's like a, I don't know, like a sprinter having to run a marathon. Uh, it becomes a problem uh, because, first of all, the orchestra is in plain view taking up half the stage. And you could use the whole stage at that point, but you don't get it. And um, it all looks terribly improvised with the orchestra there, very full, very complete. And then over here, there's a chair here and a chair there and a little table here, and that's the set. That looks impoverished, which it isn't supposed to. It's supposed to look rich. And I think that, one, this is Lonnie Price directing, who I think is brilliant. I think he is very, very, very intelligent. And I think he always knows what he's doing. And I think that there's something to be said with this 40, 42-piece orchestra that's playing. Because I don't think I've ever heard an Andrew Lloyd Webber score sound so lush as it did tonight. But, you know, I completely disagree. I saw the original production of Sunset Boulevard. And if anything, all the lavishness of it took away from my ability to really keep track or care about what was really happening. My argument to the simplicity of the set in this production, I would say is that Lonnie is focusing this story through the eyes of Joe Gillis, as opposed to the eyes of Norma Desmond. I think Trevor Nunn's original production focused a little more on Norma Desmond as this creature and this peculiar and particular person and wanted to shine a light on that, which is why it was so lavish and it was so over the top, because it was Norma's world. So when we're looking at this production with Lonnie, everything is so simple and impoverished. For me, my problem wasn't so much a lack of lavishness as much as it was pacing was a problem for me in this production. I found myself bored through the first act, wondering when it was going to be over. Um, and there were times where I I really do feel like there are better people to be in this Norma Desmond role at this moment in time than Glenn Close. She's a great actress. She's acting her face off in this production, but she can't sing it. Well, with a microphone, anybody can sing. Well, That's what's the trouble with the music world today. People no longer have voices. They have mics. As a result, all kinds of non-entities mm. become popular singers. Uh, and I think in that mic'd up way, she sounded good enough. Although, obviously, someone like Betty Buckley, who is a singer, can do more with that than I she agree. could. Are we going to keep Glenn Close's mediocre vocals, but genuine acting skill on stage for the entirety of this limited run. The gimmick here doesn't sell for me in terms of Glenn Close. If anything, Michael Xavier is someone to watch out for. Fred Johansson is someone to watch out for who played Max. He was the first voice on that stage in the first act that kind of, I sat back and I was yeah. able to really listen and appreciate. Well, he is a good baritone. Yeah, yeah, I think he's wonderful, especially when you think about George Hearn's origination yeah. of this part. I like George Hearn a lot. Yeah. But there's something about the tone of what Fred has to offer 
in this role and this level of superiority, of strength in this part, I found him very authoritative, and well, which I he think was you need. He was a good imitation of Stilheim, yeah. which is what they wanted, and they got it from George Hearn, you get something else. Yeah. But anyway, uh, the thing is that there are two or three good musical num uh, songs, mm -hmm. numbers, but there's a lot of repetition, and repetition, and more repetition of music. Yeah. Uh, and it becomes a bit uh, tiresome. Which I feel that way a lot about Andrew Lloyd Webber. Well, John, what do you think? Are we telling everyone to go see Sunset Boulevard? Well, you know, there are things that compensate in it. I wouldn't say that it's totally without interest, mm. but neither would I saying don't walk run to see it. Yeah, so we're kind of neutral on it. Yeah. And you know what? I agree with John. We're going to stay neutral on Sunset Boulevard. If you want to see it, you like Glenn Close, congratulations. Go see it.